It's day seven and we're using newspaper as wrapping paper and I always think that this something neat about that. Oh no, hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing day seven of December. It's an advent kind of thing, says day seven too. There are two days this is not December 14. Do not get confused. Um Ouvrez après ouverture. So open after opening, which yeah, that does sound kind of a little awkward, but that guy if sent me that. There's a letter and there's a box. This is extremely book shaped. Like there's this kind of I could be wrong, but it does feel book shaped. Like here you would have the spine, and here you have like the opening sort of thing. And then there's a letter for afterwards. So I guess we'll start with the start. Tearing up apart this poor newspaper wrapping, keeping that there on the side so it can be looked at afterwards. All right, just layers upon layers of newspapers being destroyed. Oh, I'm behind. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, there's more than one book. All right. Ooh. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, man. Okay, so Mobius, a genius comic book artist. And uh, that's why this is so freaking thick. So uh, there it says L'Integral, uh, which means it might just be like the whole series is how I'm interpreting this. Oh, this is so cool, though. Okay, okay, yeah, so Lincoln was... I guess that's like an extra volume that... <laughs> that, 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 you know, something. Oh, that is so cool, though. Like, yeah, it, it, it is... If you know about... If you know about comics, like, beyond, like, comics, uh, you know about Mobius. You know about his series. He is like just an absolute visual genius, and uh, I've never actually read most of his books, so this is super exciting. Oh, that is so rad and cool. Thank you so much, uh, that guy. If your name, look, I love your internet name, but also it's hard to say in a sentence. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Oh, that is so rad, though. Thank you. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, and now I get a letter to write to afterwards. What it says? It says, Mighty Leap! And it is like, what does it say there? Conk. Dang it! <laughs> a Mighty Leap was attempt. But I know someone bonked his head. And that someone was me. Look at that. Hiding jokes on the envelope where I might have absolutely have missed it. Alright, here we go. Nothing in there. Only blue texture. The only thing that matters in life. Oh. Okay. Uh, so we got two pages. Single side. Here we go. Okay, so for a while there, I saw the first sentence. I was like, oh wow, is this all going to be in French? No, just to start. Mon bonhomme Rao Cow. My good man Rao Cow. I don't know if you would say that, but anyway, okay, I'm going to, if you, if I don't show all the text, that's fine, I, I can see it. So perchance, do you remember my previous letter in 2019, and how in it, I mentioned spotting a comic book, or bande dessinée, I still find that French name weird, it just means drawn band, because you know, it's all like on a band. Uh, that would be worth your while as I was visiting Marseille and I didn't want to carry such a massive book around Europe. That's partly why I got you Pouf. Uh How was it, by the way? Then if I asked. Well, here is said comic slash BD, except as by... Uh, okay. For some, the, the, the spacing of this paragraph makes it kind of hard for me to read a little bit. Except as two books. I did that because the combined book cost an extra $100 to import. Apologies for spoiling the magic a little there. Nice sell is the result of my favorite film director, 
Alejandro Jodorowsky, attempting to salvage his efforts in adapting Dune as a film in one of many ways. That Jean Giraud, aka Mobius Gear, was the artist of this bound destiny is a great uh, bonus. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I was not aware that was a take on Doom, though. That's going to be neat. Okay, that is exciting to me. Okay, cool. That is super cool. Hard to fathom. It's been three years since I gifted you something for Advent. So much has changed since then. A-sides now reside in some kind of quantum superstitional state. You're now playing more games from the Patapon through a process of which I've documented for you in a Google Doc. That's right. He, that guy F is in charge of the rules. He's the law keeper. Uh, well, I just twisted my camera like that. I don't know if you've seen anything weird. It's not my fault. You've played more than one FPS, which... What next? An open world game? What madness? Uh, the only constant since the last letter is you playing Sonic games, mostly. When do you think you'll be done with that, do you think? 2024? 2025? I'm thinking... Maybe 2024. I'm thinking late 2024, but I've been known to be wrong on my predictions before. Of course, all these developments seem all the more amazing when you consider nothing else really happened the last three years. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Still, while that thing happening outside was, well, happening outside, I followed Hunter S. Thompson's advice and turned pro. I decided to make serious effort at improving my lot in life. You may recall I was dealing with a very awful, stressful job uh, in my previous letter. In 2020, I got out of it and into a far less stressful job, which of course started on the day the lockdowns began. Earlier this year, I was able to land a very lucrative gig, growing from questionably comfortable to mildly wealthy. Wow, congrats, Duder. In 2021, I was fir finally able to move out of the glorified basement that was my home for nearly five years and into a real apartment. Oh, that is, that is real good to hear. It's not perfect, but considering I have central air and heat and in-unit weather and dry, uh, washer and dryer, the, the, the texture of the typewriter is not always easy to read but anyway yeah no, 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 that is currently running a dishwasher and most importantly actual floors and closets i'd say it's a massive improvement finally this year i started taking my health a little more seriously through some dieting and exercise in the last three months i've lost 25 pounds wow like seriously dude you're, you're doing great in all i'd say i've had some successes still it's not been all bread, sunshine, and roses. Only a few days after I ordered these books, I was fired from my new job. They wanted me to be a machine, and no amount of pay is worth that. Better they did that now than six months later, when my psyche would have been broken. But still, it hurts. However, it feels like something's, it feels like something's been lost. I speak not on the political, but on the social. The extroverts, there's more on the other side. Sorry for the pause there. For a second, I thought it was double-sided, but no, it's because I just slid it like that. That's not behind it. <laughs> extroverts, uh, I'm not sure what I'm walking into here. Have become so neurotic and erratic, it looks like they'll unravel at any moment and have a full-blown panic attack. The introverts, so sure they would could weather this. They've become impish, immature, self-absorbed, and unfortunately, very creepy at times. I feel like you are diminishing things extremely. And I don't necessarily agree here, but this is your letter that I'm reading out loud. All throughout, I feel this overwhelming sense of desperation and neediness, as though if someone didn't hear or look at them they would disintegrate now that i'm immune to it i've had my moments still it can be censored disheartening no okay it's just corrected disheartening to witness i had to abandon a couple of close friends because of this so 
You're putting you're putting that weirdly on labels of introversion and extroversion, but I think it's just a more general humans are social animals. We are we are programmed to be most efficient in tribes, right? A uh, human like the average human is constructed with the idea that they would have like 30 to 50 people around them. Like that kind of social circle. So yeah, when that broke down, a lot of people have had difficulty to adapt. That's just, that is true. But you cannot, you got to be careful on how you're putting the blame. But, oh jeez. Laetitia Sazier of Stereo Lab. Uh, sings to me from my speakers as I type this. There's nothing to feel sad about. Really, nothing to feel bad about. And she would be right. Despair is useless to have, even if it is easy to fall into it. You can do better. We can do better. That much, I am certain. I mean, I did well on a job interview. On the day I okay, on the day I wrote this letter. While I am pragmatic on whether or not I will have a job sooner rather than later, I am nevertheless confident of my prospect. So here's the thing: once you've had a real job, it becomes significantly easier to get more real job. Like it's hard to get in, but once you're in, you're if you're careful and you're not an absolute monster. The hard part is done. Like, I wouldn't be that worried. Like, as long as you don't sit on it. Like, you, I w honestly, you, you're probably going to be all right. I've become more sociable and impressive fe feet from an autistic weirdo like me. More importantly, though, uh, he is, like, actually, like, he, 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 he is, is. Um, more importantly, though, you have managed to maintain a consistent schedule of three videos a day on YouTube, a fact that impresses every, every essay, okay, something awful LP or turn Twitch streamer I speak to and maintain a positive attitude, uh, and upbeat outlook despite everything that's got to mean something. No, I, I hope so. In any event, the laundry I mentioned is almost done. I also need to make some dinner. I hope this letter and the books it came with find you well. I'm grateful for the work you put into your videos every day and the care you show for the community at large. I look forward to your upcoming mystery box LP. So that'd be uh, a hat in time. Joyeux Noël et bonne année. And all that fun jazz. Take care and enjoy yourself. Sincerely, that guy if. Postscriptum. I hope you enjoyed this nicer paper stock. Honestly, yeah. I I love the quality of this letter. Even if I'd had issues reading a line or two. Post postscriptum. I still... I will have your drink tea. I will have you drink tea. Phantom Noel, Phantom Moody. <laughs> I will have you drink tea, uh, Ghost of Christmas Ghost, damned Ghost of Christum, Christmas Ghost, because he gave me tea the other year, and the ghost ended up drinking it, <laughs> which we know to be the due to misfortune. Oh, whoa, oh, where is that star from? I lost, oh, mystery box. Uh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Oh, you're talking about the other one that's upcoming further. Yeah, okay. The, yeah, yeah. It's it's incoming up next. I guess I'll I'll keep your wish of keeping it censored. But no, yeah, it is literally written and coming up next on Talk House. But no, I get it. I get it. I'm just slow. I am the man of molasses. Wow, what a letter though. So heartfelt. I'm glad things are looking up. Uh, and yeah, like you're kind of returning the bit of a downer turner, but like, it's gonna, like I said, uh, everything is set up for you to be able to be able to bounce back relatively easily. So, uh, I am not worried for your situation 
And I, I just love hearing when just things improve in general for, uh, for people. Uh, thank you. Like, honestly, very, very much thank you. A big thank you. Full of heart. Uh, it's kind of hard to respond to. Also, I feel like my voice is improving. It's not perfect. So today, also, I'm making a break of some kind. So still no gameplay video. But because um, I feel like if it's improving, maybe I should give it a chance to keep improving, right? Anyways, no. Yeah, that guy, if today was your day and... What a day.